Okay, so here we are in the MRO Application Centre here in Australia, Melbourne, Victoria. It's very important for us to understand what an anaerobic product is and basically how it goes from a liquid or a paste into a thermoset plastic. So what we're going to show here uh, is basically anaerobic technology coming from either a paste or a liquid and when it cures after 24 hours it turns into a thermoset plastic. So here's an example of a cured Loctite product. So basically obviously there's two things that we need and one of those is the presence of metal and when we talk about the presence of metal we're either referring to these rigid flange faces or we're talking about this stainless steel nut and bolt. Basically when we talk about absence of air, when we engage the nut and the bolt together, we remove the oxygen and this will start the curing process. Likewise with the flange faces, when we bring the two flanges together, we eliminate the oxygen and the curing process starts. So when we're referring to anaerobics, we basically have two types of metals. We have active metals and we have inactive metals. In this example here, we're looking at an active metal. So it's very important before we start our job that we look at our base materials and our base metals and have a look at whether they're active or inactive and then take the appropriate actions as we move forward. So we have two classifications of metal. The first one is an active metal. And we spoke about that before with rigid faced flanges and basically that is a mild steel. So we have brass, bronze, copper, mild steel. All of these are considered active metals. So in terms of having full cure from a liquid or a paste to a thermoset plastic, that will happen naturally in 24 hours as long as we have exposure to that active metal. If we're referring to inactive metals, for example, this stainless steel nut and bolt, basically we're gonna to have to have a secondary input from us. So what we're having a look at here is Loctite 7649. And the reason we're looking at this is it's a primer activator. So it's very important when we're referring to inactive metals as these two go hand in hand. And basically what this will do is this will trick the inactive metal. It'll transfer some copper salts on there and it will make it an active surface and we will have curing or the curing process starting to happen. So in this first example, we're going to use an anaerobic product as a gasketing material and we're going to be replacing a traditional style gasket. So as you can see this, this here, see here, this is a paper style gasket and basically look at that, we're not going to use that again. That's going to go in the bin and that's where we're going to move forward now and start using anaerobic technology instead because obviously this is far more superior and easier to use. So in our first example here, we're going to be looking at a mild steel rigid faced flange. And we're going to be using Loctite 510 as an example because it's going to be easy to see visually. The first step, it's always important to make sure that we've got a nice clean surface. In this case here, we're going to be using Loctite SF7070 as our ODC free cleaner degreaser. First step, obviously, shake the can and give it a light spray. And we get that down, just start rubbing. And allow this some time to flash off to make sure that we don't have a residue left there. Likewise, on this side, make sure that this is also clean. As these are the two mating surfaces that are gonna be brought together. We give that a wipe. and we give it some time to make sure that it flashes off. The second process is to determine whether or not you're working with active metals or inactive metals. In this case, we're working with inactive metal, so the use of a primer activator is not really necessary. But to speed up the process, and in this case to demonstrate how we use a primer activator, we're gonna use the Loctite 7649. So basically we give the can a shake and again we give it light coating. You can either apply it to one side only or you can apply it to both sides, that's up to you. In this case we're going to apply it to both sides.
Okay. The third step is to apply the flange sealant. So we're using Loctite 510, and we're going to apply it in a standard pattern that we would see as a typical uh, application. But basically what we want to do is we're going to start at the very centre and work our way around the holes. This will make sure that we get full coverage. You remember as we bring this together and we torque up our bolts, we're going to be compressing the two flange faces together and that's going to be spreading the product out. So there we have a typical pattern. All right, so the bolts that were originally on this uh, came with spring washers. We don't need spring washers. We're going to replace those with a chemical thread locker, so we're going to use Loctite 243. So we'll remove all of these spring washers. And then that's when we're going to proceed with the 243. Okay, it's two, four, three. And then what we're gonna do from there is bring the two faces together. And from there we can see that the product is starting to come out the sides. That excess product can be wiped away just to clean it up. And that ensures that we've got full coverage along the flange face. Okay, so what we have here is called a torquing gasket and basically this is just going to demonstrate that if we have uneven pressure on our flange faces, Basically from there, we could potentially introduce a leak path. So what we want to have is consistent pressure so that we have a nice tight fit and no potential for leak path. Again, what we can do on this is demonstrate the ability for a flange sealant or a gasketing product to spread out and wet out. So basically, I'll do a small line along here with 510 so that we can see the product, just a thin line. And basic, basically what we're going to show there is as we bring our two rigid flange faces together and compress, you can see how much coverage we actually get as it spreads out. So that's an example of ensuring that we're getting full coverage across the flange face. So what we're going to have a look at now is our Loctite 518 that has actually come out in a new packaging. It also has a new label there indicating that it is a primerless product, which means that when we go to do the demonstration, we won't be applying the primer as it's already got a built-in primer. So it will be activating and curing in 24 hours. First things first is we take the lid off and then obviously we've got that roller at the top. We make sure that we unlock it and then we can pump. So we pump one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna start rolling it, as you can see. 
So now we've got product coming down onto the roller. So what we're going to do in this example is show how quickly and how evenly we can apply a light micronized coating around this rigid faced flange and get full coverage by using the new Loctite 518 pen. So we pump a couple of times. ensuring we get full coverage. And remember, in this case here, we only need a micronized coating because as we bring the two flange faces together and then we torque, apply torque to the nuts and bolts, we'll get a clamp force and the two metals will come together and provide a seal in conjunction with the 518. So there we can see we've got a consistent coverage or consistent coverage around the top of the flange face. Now what we do is we bring our second component over and then we'll torque up the nuts. Basically when we start to clamp this down the gap will be reduced and the product will start forming into a thermoset plastic and provide full leak protection instantaneously at low pressures. Remember to always check the TDS or the technical data sheet for all of your low pressure uh, abilities and also the cure times, depending on whether or not you are using a primer or not a primer. In this case, 518 does not require a primer, it's primerless. and obviously taking into consideration the temperature of the day. So today in summary, we covered off on three things. One was anaerobic basics. Number two was the advantages of liquid gasketing over traditional methods. And number three, we introduced Henkel's new innovative packaging of Loctite 518 with the rolling tip for application at the top in its primerless formulation. Gasketing and flange shielding is just one part of our MRW sessions or maintenance reliability workshops. Please get in contact with your local application engineer to investigate further how our reliability workshops can make a difference at your business.